Hey guys, Mist here again for another video today, and we are back with our um, Houston Vikings franchise mode. Forgot the name there for a second. So uh, yeah, we are back, and there's actually a few things uh, I'm going to do this episode. Uh, really quickly, um, you know the guy on our team, like the stud on our team, uh, Alex Tooch, or I always say Tooch, he actually is a new Vegas Golden Knight. And it's actually pronounced Tuck. So I know, now I know how to pronounce it. I will say Tuck and not Tooch. But um, we are going to make a trade. Uh, we are going to make a trade. I am going to look to trade uh, Nieto. And then have, and then also sign Ryan Strom. As uh, if you looked in the last episode, uh, there was someone there that I wanted to pick up. And it was Ryan Strom. So we will do this really quickly. I just want to adjust where I put my mic. All right, sorry if that was really loud. I think it might have been okay. But, uh, yeah, so let's go make this trade. We are going to be going to the Calgary Flames, and uh, they're going to be acquiring um, Matt Nieto. I think it's Matt. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I know it's Nieto, though. So let's go add Nieto. Is it Matt Nieto? Uh, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so my mother is looking for my help right now, and I cannot help her because, you know, I'm a thug and making a video. All right, so this is going to be the trade. We are looking to trade Matt Nieto for a second-round pick from the Calgary Flames. They are our rebuilders, so you never know. We could get something from them. Hey, okay, let's go. Let's see. Will it go through? Trade rejected. Um, eh, eh, not looking good about that. All right, let's go. Do we have anybody that's unsigned? We do. Uh, Salmella. He doesn't look too good. He's 60 overall at 20 years old. So let's add him to the deal. Will that push it through? It will. All right. So we now have that second round pick, which I am not too, or I'm not worried about. And then now we will go to free agency. And um, yeah, all right. So Ryan Strom will be added to the team. And I'm going to give him a one-year deal for the max amount of money I can give him uh, because if you look at our cal or at our salary cap we do not have very much so that's why I am going to give him as much as I can and only on a one year deal probably could put him on a two year deal for like 15 million but I don't I don't want to just in case so uh, let's put this up to as much as I can he definitely should accept even though he does want two years but uh, even in those two years, he'll still be making more money here just on the one year. All right, uh, what can it go to? Let's see, it's almost can go to 16 million. Can it go to 16 million? It can, all right, let's just keep going. Uh, wow, all right, okay, I can give him like 17 and a half million almost. Damn, 17.167 million for one year. Ryan Strong, buddy, join the team. Uh, all right. Damn, Josh Manson here is now 28 years old. Stud. Just kidding. Luke Shen, Ryan McInnes. He's an RFA, no thanks. Darnell Nurse is here. He's also an RFA. Uh, all right. Lauren Dauphin, bring him in. I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> all right, so let's now sim to the next season. And uh, I'm assuming Ryan Strom will accept the offer, and he does. All right, so really quickly, we will talk about Ryan Strom. Uh, as of uh, a few hours ago, uh, by the time I'm recording this, let's see. It is currently uh, 5.26 p.m. where I am recording this. And three about three and a half hour, hours ago, uh, Jordan Eberle got traded to the New York Islanders in, uh, in exchange for Ryan Strom. So it's the first big deal after the trade freeze. So you know what? It's a pretty big deal. That's probably uh, the second, maybe not the, maybe the biggest, maybe the second biggest trade because obviously the Drew and Sergachev trade. But uh, I'm pretty excited to see how that goes because I feel like both of them needed a change of scenery 
especially Ryan Strom. And uh, maybe this will really help out Eberle to play with uh, Jonathan Tavares instead. Because he's playing, I don't know if he's playing second or third line ice time with uh, on the Oilers, sorry. So it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what goes on with them. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see what happens, to be honest. Because uh, it could, lo- they look like a very good team. Obviously, the Oilers, um, the Islanders could definitely use some pieces. They definitely need some pieces. But uh, excited to see how everything goes. But uh, yeah, so let's simulate to this next season, and we will see uh, what our lineup is looking like. Hopefully, Owen Tippett's like 86, 87. Same thing for Nicholas Hag. Um, if they are if they are that high overall, then we could be in a very good spot this year. Uh, let's see. It's taking a long time to simulate. I'm going to press B because usually when it takes a long time, it means we're like right there. So let's see. We are at 88 locker room chemistry in the off season. What a great team we are. So you see that banner right there, the 2020 Colorado Avalanche Stanley Cup champions. Yeah, 2021 is going to be the Houston Vikings. Mark my word. Just kidding. Don't because with my luck, it probably will be wrong. <sighs> All right. Alex Tuck is up to an 86. What a stud. All right. Let's move down some players. Shaw and Olofsson and Kasha can all go down. I'm under the league salary cap. I hate my life. I'm going to go have to do. I'm going to have to sign someone. I do have. <clears throat> actually, they're on entry level deals. Would I be able to. Sign them to a bigger deal? I don't think so. Well, let's go see. We'll go see. One second. All right. Uh, unsigned rookie. All right. So a few of them are 20 years old. Let's just do James. Can I? No. Okay. So let's try the other two. Uh, it won't be. If I can't change it to a one-way contract, then. All right. That's all right. We're going to have to go sign someone in free agency. Because we're still under the league salary cap. I did not mean to go to manage roster. All right. Let's go. We will uh, look to uh, sign a free agent. Doesn't really matter who. Uh, I just need to sign someone. Let's just look at the lowest overall. I need them to be old. Or old. Uh, we'll just go by age. Yeah. All right. There we go. Pelletier. Offer you a contract, buddy. You can have one year at not that much. Screw that. I could probably only give him a few million. I'll give him like five million or something, I guess. He's 37 years old. You are an old man. All right. Uh, hopefully, we should be around league salary cap then. Actually, no. We're just we're gonna, we'll just give him like 10 million. Definitely could have gone the other way from 17 down to 10, but whatever. We're just gonna go up like this, and uh, we'll give him 10 million on the dot, and hopefully, well, I know he'll accept it. But uh, unless I have a full roster, which I believe I don't, uh, let's go look. I actually don't know if I do. Do we? Okay, maybe. Uh, wait. Let's see. Let's go look at goaltending really quickly. If I have, I have five gold, uh, and I have four that are signed, so I am going to have to trade someone away then. Uh, Bolesky's up to a 69. He's friggin' good. He was like the first guy we drafted or something, wasn't it? Alex Gabranson, Quine. Alex Gabranson can go. Who has the space for him? The Arizona Coyotes do. Can uh, we get a draft pick from them? Just a fourth. We'll try a fourth. Uh, might not even go through, to be honest. Yeah, okay. Let's go try a si- uh, fifth, then. Let's... Uh, uh, come on. Okay. Let's add a fifth rounder. And we'll see if that can push it through. Will it? No. All right. Let's try a sixth rounder. There we go. Uh, will that go through? No, how about a seventh rounder? Uh, yes, sick. All right, Alex Cabranson gone. Best roster. There we go. So hopefully, um, 
Pelletier does sign with us now then, and let's simulate up a few days, and we will see when he accepts us up. Yeah, okay, there he is. All right, so we should be good for salary cap now. Now let's go and make some line changes here. Uh, I didn't look at the overalls there, but I will when I come back. So uh, Tippett's an 85. All right, let's send those three down. There we go. Let's just go by forwards really quickly. Grunstrom and Mitchell. Yeah, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Send Mitchell and uh, wait. Um, bring Holt and Kovacs up. All right. Uh, Krivosic. Sir Krivosic. Can he still grow? He can. Should I keep him down there? I think I'll keep him down there. All right, let's go to def defenseman. Can I bring anyone up? Tulola can either stay here. He's listed as a depth defenseman. What about uh, Johan Johannesson? He's also listed as a depth defenseman. I think we'll just keep him down there, I guess. It's a bit of a rip. I have seen, I saw um, a video the other day where Olofsson was an 85 overall. And unfortunately, I just didn't give him the ice time to grow. And we still got Rasmus Dahlin down here. If he could just friggin' grow, then, you know, goaltenders are good. All right. I definitely would like a better backup, which I might look at potentially. All right. Now let's go make some line changes. I believe I have some lines already made. Um, yeah. Yes, I do. All right, let's do. Ryan Strom will not be playing here uh, on the top line. I didn't mean to do that. All right, where is Tippett? Tippett will play on the first line with Timoshov and Tuck or Tuk 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 Tuk. I don't whatever. Balsers uh, will come down for. Uh, okay, definitely not hold Kovacs. And spa check. Who's got better face offs? Uh, Ryan Strom does. Spa check and Kovacs. Timoshov and Tuck. There we go. Then third pairing. I want Fours back at Carlson up here instead. Uh, that looks good. Carlson's got really good face offs. Then Dawson Holt. Uh, Tyler Grauvac and Jansen Harkins. They're listed as two depths and a fourth, so that's good. Um, wait, who had the best face off? Scrabback does. All right. There we go. All right, defensively, Riley Hags up to an 85, which is good. Uh, now, Mike Riley is done growing, though. So do I put someone else up there? Uh, I don't know. I don't, know what, I don't know what I should do. I definitely want Hag up here on the top pairing. But do I put someone up the, instead of Mike Riley? I feel like maybe I should. Should I put Rasmus Anderson or should I put Jakob Zaboro, though? Uh, the same age, Rasmus Anderson's a higher overall. Uh, wow, five of our defensemen are left-handed shots. The only right-handed defenseman we have is Anderson. Goaltending, we still got Kakin, and he is still doing good. Uh, is that everything I want to do? I uh, I think so. Uh, I do. Uh, maybe I should go look at a backup. Let's go look at the trading block to see what is on the block for some of the other teams, and uh, maybe there's a backup goalie that we could use that's interesting for us. Uh, what am I doing? Trading block. Yeah, okay. Uh, edit. Sh no, browse trade blocks. So let's go. Anders Nielsen. He's not that bad. He's 30 years old. Uh, Alright, let's just go look at other teams as well. Uh, no. 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 Giordano's an 80 overall. My god. Uh, Cam Ward, he is listed as a backup. Uh, uh, maybe. Alright, so Carolina and Anaheim so far have decent goaltenders. 
Lettinen, 72 overall. My God. Uh, Reimer. He's got. He's really expensive though. 3.4 for a backup. Get Bishop on the team. Just kidding. Uh, Kaiser. Both those goaltenders don't look that bad. 21 with an AHL starter or high AHL starter, and then 22 with a medium backup. Those don't look too bad. I'm not really looking to grow a goaltender as of right now, though, uh, because we do have uh, Kakinen for the fear for the future uh, entirely, and I don't really need don't really need anything like that. Longfist 80 overall on the Maple Leafs, 80 overall. Oh, oh, I think I have an idea. All right, let's go back to the Leafs. Let's go and acquire Lundqvist and get him his cup. Because I... Oh, my God, 8.5 million. Wow, okay. He's not his last year, though. He might even retire this year. Uh, what do I do? Let's go use a draft pick. We'll just use a seventh, I guess. Uh, let's use our seventh in 2026. And that should go through. Uh, do they want to get rid of a draft pick? Because I might look to even acquire one if I can. Yeah. Uh. Alright, I tried muting my mic. It didn't work. Alright, will that go through? No. Uh, I'll just add a seventh and we'll see if it doesn't go through. They have our first round pick this year. Just saw that. I was definitely for Team Ashov. Uh, alright, so no. So just Lunkfist. And we will look to bring Lunkfist in and finally get Lunkfist hit. <sighs> hey, you want to get rid of him? Just give me him. Simple enough. Let's try a sixth rounder then. Uh, no. Okay, you know what? I'm not using anything else. We will use a prospect then instead because I am not looking to get rid of draft picks. I already have basically zero anyway so uh this guy because they want him and he's 60 overall at 20 so he's pretty bad trade accepted lungfist buddy the new backup oh man let's get lungfist a cup boys uh, what was he 38 years old is that what he was 38 years old let's go look um it's 38 or 35 i don't think he was 38 if he was then what the hell uh we will put lungfist in uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, so how old is he, yeah, 38, my god, he's old, holy, go to roster moves, I will send, um, our other goaltender down, whoever it was, I don't remember, uh, Gustafsson, yeah, alright, we'll send Gustafsson down, there we go, looking good, guys, so we will, uh, look to, uh, get Lunkvist to cup this year, holy frig, uh, team looks good. We will do the preseason games, and then I'm going to end the video here. Uh, actually, I'll end it here. So in the next episode, we are, I'm going to look to do the entire off season, uh, Or not the entire off season, the entire season, sorry. And I'm going to make lines off screen as well. So I will see you guys all in the next video. Hopefully you all did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, guys.